for some reason they don't want to have cure of cancer. This is an identical twin. Her sister is now dead. Her sister, when she was four years old, Kristen, developed a highly malignant brain tumor that had spread throughout her spine and her brain. The doctors told us that we had really two options, take her home, let her die, or bring her in for massive dosages of chemo and radiation simultaneously. In either event, she was going to die. They were quite certain of that, and very quickly. We found that he did not adequately inform them about the treatments they were receiving, that he allowed unlicensed individuals <coughs> to wear lab coats, call themselves doctor, sign forms, and order labs as doctors leading patients to believe they were getting care from doctors when they were not. The judges also found that doctors must be overcharged and cannot justify his billing for several patients. We took my daughter off the anti-oneoplastin. She had not died. She had no signs of tumor. She remained free for 18 months of cancer. Within a month, the cancer was widespread in her brain. We put her back on Brzezinski's. By the way, at the objections of our doctors, for some reason felt that it had failed her. We put her back on. Within nine weeks, the tumor was completely gone. She died last July of neurological necrosis. Her brain fell apart from the radiation. The autopsy showed that she was completely cancer-free. I came 18 years ago from communist Romania, and the tyrannous dictator Ceausescu never stopped a doctor from treating anybody. How can we have something like this in the United States? We'll also allow Mr. Paul Michaels to continue to get treated. Mr. Michaels, are you in the room, sir? Yes. But that's fine. Just make that presentation. We don't need to call Mr. Cogdale. Just make the presentation. That will be fine, sir. Without this treatment, my son will die. This is a photo of Dustin Canari at four years old in 1996. This is a photo of Dustin Canari at 22 years old in 2013, happily married. And this is a photo of Dustin Canari today, paying it forward by helping to save the lives of others as a firefighter and paramedic. I have never seen a documentation issue warrant a license revocation. Never. And if you want to try to justify that to your, your, your matrix, I, I disagree with you. They want to fine him $360,000. It is not, I think, an unlogical conclusion to think that the FDA has a vendetta against Dr. Brzezinski or wants to retaliate for some reason now that's that's my opinion here the patient has to go to very difficult bureaucratic process uh, which uh, usually most of the patients will not be able to go through because they die during the process for some reason they don't want to have cure of cancer a suspension of the doctor's license for a period of five years probated 12 cycles of chart monitoring relating to billing, taking the JP exam, 72 hours of continuing medical education divided between record keeping, diligence, risk management, and ethics, proper ownership disclosure of the pharmacy, a, re a revision of the consent forms, a $40,000 penalty, plus $20,000 dollar restitution, I believe it was patient G. And that would be my motion.